showtime, baby. <laughs> That's right. Hit the like button and subscribe. Mm. I be stacking up chips like Lego Badass bitch bag matching my stilettos In it full of paper, same color as a gecko I'm laying on the boat across the water where the deck loads Rolling up some petrol, I ain't got no service Still I got my metro, don't need no disturbance Drowning me, I let go, I'm floating to the surface These niggas set you up slow and take you down on purpose Tax music video showcase, check it out Monday through Friday, always on HHQ TV too 91.3 The Plug, if you want to get on the website, hit me up. I have a deal for you. <laughs> you are tuned in to the music shop with Miss Music on 91.3 The Plug and HHQ TV 2. That's right. Download the free app on Amazon Fire TV. Ooh. That's right. What's up, everybody? It is the music shop with Miss Music on 91.3, the plug in HHQ TV2. We are back for another show. Oh my God, if you're shopping for new music or new artists, then check out the music shop for it with Miss Music. It is always a music affair with Miss Music and the music shop. But tonight, oh my gosh, we have somebody on straight from, you know, the hood. That's right. We have on tonight Ragu Six God. Why are you on mute? Okay. Here. Yo, what's up? what's up? What's up? What's up, Miss Music? What's up? What's up, Miss Music? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Miss Music. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Welcome. Welcome. Now, everybody, we're having problems with the cameras tonight. So, yeah, I just got to see my little cute face tonight. But, anyways, we do have Ragu. We didn't want to keep y'all any much longer. Uh, we got music to run. So, yeah, we got to get the interview done, no matter high hell of water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we ride in Noah's Ark tonight. All right? Right, That's right, what right. we do. For real. Welcome to the music shop, Brad Goosex. God, what's up? Hey, what's good? What's good? And it is a slight yeah, delay, so you might hear me like a split like second, a second, second later. Then what? Actually, man, we gonna still on my side. We're going to get it done. Yeah, I hear you good on my side, but I, I'm not watching, so I really don't know. I mean... If, if there's anybody listening um, on comments, let me know. And, yeah, you know, you'll pop up in the um, StreamYard thingy. I can see those comments. So, definitely, if y'all hear something, just let us know. We try to fix it, but, you know, hey, <laughs> it is what it is. You know how it is in this game, man. We got to get on we get on, and sometimes it ain't perfect, but you're on. So, oh, my gosh. Well, That's go what's ahead. up. That's what's up. Yeah, right. Well, go ahead, and I want to um, introduce you to everybody, and I want them to let you know where you're representing. Um, yeah, I'm straight out of uh, uh, Central Florida, uh, Dalmo, uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, uh, same city, Rockwood, you know what I'm saying? Uh, big ups, Tampa Bay area, uh, 813-727. Uh, shout out to St. Petersburg, Clearwater, Largo, Tampa, all surrounding areas. You know, I fuck with the whole state of Florida, but um, what you know where bred me is uh, St. Pete, 727 shit, South Side. That's what I'm talking about, St. Pete, man. That's just over the bridge for me. <laughs> I don't know about right, anybody else. Right, 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 right. Bro, it's right across the bridge. Like, I'm right across one of the bridges. So, pick one. That's right, <laughs> that's right, that's right. You over in Tampa. In, in, in Tampa. <laughs> so, go ahead. Um, First of all, um, I, I bring a lot of genres to the um show. And um, you never know who I'm bringing on. So, I wanted you to go ahead and let them know what kind of flavor you bring into the music shop tonight. Um, see, uh, um, mine would be, see, uh, uh, they were label I mean, in the, like, uh, in the industry, you know, of course, when you register with, like, ASCAP and all that shit, um, you know, they labeling me as, like, rap, hip-hop, you know, pop, but I got a different variety and a style of everything. I mean, I'm definitely speaking for, like, the hood and just basically just, like, my, um, my lifestyle, what I've been through, um, and kind of speaking in third person with any other, uh, person that's from my circumstances, you know, uh, you know, having a scrape already against you, you know, going through the wilds and trying to make it to the top, but failing, prison, 
prison failures, um, you know, the you know the threat of cops, threats of ops and shit like that. But you know, still trying to walk that right to grind at the same time and provide for your family. But you know, um, so I'm coming with that type of style. Yeah, a whole lot of all that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's where we at with it. That's where we run. Well, I think it's good that you know you let people know, know um, where you're coming from, so they can understand, um, you know, the music that you make and what you're making or what you're going through when you made it and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I was listening to your, I was listening to your music and, you know, you definitely have some street stuff. And I, I heard some things in there that we definitely going to get into on the show tonight. Poor Ragu. <laughs> but, you know, the music, I'm definitely going to let you explain it. Um, what got you into music, though? I'm just curious. Like, what got you in? What's your story? Everybody has a story, and I'm so curious to hear yours. Let me know. Let us know. Um, like a lot of people actually like kind of know them. Cause they made it to a fame. They made it all the way to like you know like a distribution deal with Warner. Like back in the day, it was called the Luciano family. Like, um, and uh, uh, you know they messed with a lot of people. Uh, the entertainment that they brought, they brought a lot of like your, you know, the world's favorite artists right now, like Lil Wayne. They brought them to like the Tampa Bay area. They used to bring them to the club underground with, you know, shout out to Mr. Gary that owned club underground in Tampa. He, you know, we did. You know, we made a lot of money, did a lot of business with him over the years. Uh, you know, just a lot of big rap moguls. Even um, some people that's on Rod Wave camp right now, like you know, like your Uncle D's and you know, like your big, you know, your Bo Williams and people like that. Like they have have had big impacts on you know, just you know, uh, wanting to see like the young brothers out the hood. Uh, I mean, young brothers out the hood looking up for them and you know, um. You know, um, saying like, damn, we actually like, got a shot too, you know, because they have, you know, they've been in the game, you know, they've been in the game years before even Rod Wave was even, you know, thought about being born. They've been in the game, you know, with UV Entertainment, X and O Entertainment. You know, they've been bringing artists to the Tampa Bay area like Lil Wayne, like X and O Entertainment, the Luciano family. They was the first one to bring like Lil Wayne to the Tampa Bay area. They was the first one to bring like Two Chains, you know, uh, Future, you know, you know, you know, all these big artists who we, you know, who we, uh, you know, who we. You know, look up to his big brothers and big sisters right now. They've been doing business and dealings with them, you know, you know, 20 years plus, to be honest. With you. So it's like, you know, big up to all that, you know. So that's how you But they, uh, yeah, they definitely had a big uh, impact. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They had a big impact on it. They had a big impact. And um, that's when I started, uh, you know, I started like, um, oh, and I want to be, uh, I, had, uh, I had a chance because, you know, I was always shy with it, but. I remember like around like 1999 when like Romeo, I don't know 2000, no like 99 or 2000, I think like Romeo and Bow Wow was like hot then and shit like that. You know, as a young black kid, you know, you kind of wanted to kind of be like that person at the time and, you know, you wanted to rap and think you had a chance and stuff like that. And, uh, 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 but yeah, but, but as far as who, um, got me started, as far as like who, who influenced me, it had to be people from my city, like all the big comers, like your action entertainment. Basically, uh, two of the guys that's on Rod Ways camp right now, they, really really uh had a big impact on not not just myself but a lot of artists out of st pete you know wanting to rap and wanting to chase a dream and music mm. yeah yeah you you're right about that one well we're definitely gonna get into some music tonight because you know yeah i don't put punches with music i love music so we definitely yeah we gotta get into the music tonight so the first song we're gonna play is um watch me Go ahead and give us some information on this song, Watch Me. Okay. Oh, yeah, Watch Me. I got it right. Okay. <laughs> oh, right, right. It is. Watch Me the song that I made because, like, even when I didn't have, like, even when I didn't have. Oh, honey, we're losing you. Can you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, they designed us in America. Like, yeah, they designed us in America. Like, you know, as I'm gonna just speak. I don't mean to like always direct in on this, but you know, as like a you know a young black man, you know, you gotta kind of like almost extra walk the straight line. At least that's what they tell us to do. But you know, time and time, you know, we face with circumstances and situations to where you know, just like the nine to five and all that shit can't work at the time feasible. You know, like what do you do on the first? You know what I'm saying? I don't see my like I come from the single. You know, my mom was a single parent. You know, uh, you know, like you know, section eight housing. You know, shit like that. So I mean. 
the C C planet was, was like, like and or from what I seen was you know it was hard. It was hard. So like when, so like when the, the opportunity presents itself, you know you just gotta go out and really go get it. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter what, by all means, you have to go get it. Especially being a man, you know no one wanna you know no one understands a man in America that's waiting on a on a on, you know waiting to eat. You know what I'm saying? Waiting to go do this or waiting to do that. So you know if uh you know I you know I've you know I've had a job. You know you know I started working on sports team. You know I you know I've done the you know the American way. I've done it though. You know the right way, quote unquote. But you know I can't be saying you know, I said I be saying here lying if I say I ain't never you know stepped outside the guidelines because I was forced to you know by force. You know what I'm saying? You can break it down to you know job availability in the world and you know how many people on the planet they don't even mount up. So you know you you know you tell me like what the real plan is behind this shit. You know what I mean? But hey, but um but yeah but uh going into the song um yeah. Yeah. See, they do always they feel do like always somebody watching, somebody especially watching. when you try, you know, you out here trying to get it, you out here trying to, you know, um, um, trying to make a way for your people and shit like that. And uh, it is times when you know I be feeling like watched, you know, I feel watched. I feel like, you know, you know, it's just it's like another eye. I may not even be a physical eye, maybe like you know the eye of God, or you know, maybe maybe a spiritual thing. You know, so I'm in tune. I'm tapped in. Yeah, the monitoring spirits. That's what it is. <laughs> it's like the old song back on what? Feel me? It could be um, like that, right? It, it could be it, like that, right? Yeah, like the '80s or '90s. It was that song. It always feels like somebody's watching me. I have no privacy. You know what I mean? Nobody's watching. So, hey, you know what? Yeah, funny remember that music? Hey, Miss Music. Hey, music. Hey, right. Yeah. Hey, right. Snap, Miss hey, Music. Snap. Music. snap. snap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. I like. Hey, I like. Inspire me a little piece. I was actually I was listening actually to that. I think it came on like a commercial or some shit. And then, like, mm-hmm. and I and like he played the beat. And when he played the beat, I was just like, okay, okay, why? Uh, uh, man, they feel like they watching me, but I gotta go out and get it. My family came, and it just—I mean, cause everybody knew that I've been in the studio with me. It takes me literally like, I'm sorry. I know people want to hear like, oh my god, it took him, you know, days to create this song. But I'm more of a like, a, it's just divine. It comes like when the beat played. It's just, you know, it's done. It's gonna come. I mean, thirty minute songs. And I'm talking about like any producer that done work with me down to like uh, even Plaz uh, producer uh, James. Wood out executive sounds, they know. Um, I work with uh Zaytoven in Atlanta, Al Newt, um, Roland Williams, um, Michael Sesevic, that that's that's best friends with eight time Ben Horan from Warner Brothers. Like, these are real names that I've worked with, and they can vouch and say that, like, man, like, he his own biggest failure, like, you know what I'm saying? He his biggest critic, his biggest failure, and nothing stopping him from making it to the top, but it's so because it just comes divine. Some people don't gotta really like you know, practice and all this shit, it just comes. It's, you know, it's, you know, it's so organic, organic. Yeah, feel you. Yeah, um, I've had our Bob really up in the studio. I've got a picture with him up in here. Are you done any music with him? I'm already, that's my man. Listen, I'm already. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, you just said a name. That's crazy. Yeah, that was my dog. Uh, he, I ain't gonna lie. You know what? I made a mistake. I apologize. I left him out. He did have a lot of influence on me, too. Like, I remember, um, I remember, um, when, uh, uh actually, after I got, after Luciano, they changed their name to Hugh and T, uh, you know, Mike Williams. Uh, shout out to D Spades. His son is named D Spades. He's actually one of the Rod Wave artists. You know, them, you know, that was my family, too. You know, like, that's like, that's like family, but you know, we're working on our own projects right now we got our differences and differences we agree to disagree on certain things but it's nothing but love from them boys you know what i'm saying i just got out from doing five years you know what i'm saying um you know i you only been out of years and change so um you know i still got a lot of things to like you know i'm tiptoeing back here in life getting used back to i mean uh getting back to you know just being you know you know you know uh you know the normality of things first even though i like to stay in la la land you know at times but i'm getting back to the normality of things and shit like that but uh uh, uh, yeah, I'm already I'm definitely already, like definitely, I'm talking about man. I can not almost call this government, but I ain't we ain't gonna do that for the album. That's my like yeah, that's my dirty. We go back since shit 19 shit the 2000 2000 shit 2001 2002. Like yeah, people don't know I'm already a nigga really living like that. He just he humble right now. He humble and quiet. You know what I'm saying? Humble and quiet right now. Me and him, man, we used to beat the road from here to Atlanta. 
I'm talking about countless trips with Zaytoven, Al Luke. Actually, shout out to Roland Williams, which is marketing, um, Zaytoven's marketing manager, his digital media manager. And man, man, they showed us good hospitality, invited us into their house. Roland Williams' wife cooked for us. You know what I'm saying? That was all off the strength of eyeball. I got a chance to meet a lot of great dealers, big, 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 big artists in Atlanta. I'm talking about like down to like Pee Wee Long with Gucci Man. Um, even when Shy Glizzy had stole, I bought really song like you know we was ready to go. I mean like. You know, I bought that's my nigga, so we was ready to go like really slide about that. We was ready to go like apply pressure about that to buy anything. You know what I'm saying? But you know everything got thin. Not everything got. You know we got everybody setting his men, but you know, bro almost lost his life behind that shit, behind this music shit out here chasing. You know what I'm saying? Literally almost lost his life. Mm-hmm. They don't call Florida for nothing. You feel me? Yeah, I'm telling you, shit real out here. Don't be really. I mean, I mean, I respect all the cases everywhere. Yeah, I respect yeah, all the crazy. cases everywhere, but I mean, I didn't, I didn't live a lot of places. You know, I stayed out in Vegas for a living. I stayed out in Texas for a living. I stayed out in, I stayed in Atlanta. I'm almost stayed in Atlanta. Out of all the places I've lived, I ain't saying that because I'm born and raised, but this shit right here, yeah, man, this shit, the gunshot state for real. Yo, you ain't never lie. I've been here 50 years, and it's always been the gunshine state. Shout out to Eyeball Rally. Um, you know, he's still doing things with uh, yeah, Zaytoven yeah, and... He's got some new music, so you have to check that out. But on to your music. Ugh, the Watch Me song. I know y'all y'all waiting. So we're going to go ahead and bring you the Watch Me song right now on 91.3, The Vlog, and HHQ TV. Y'all sit back and listen to this because we got this song right here. I'm going to give y'all some, like, visuals for the, for the song. Okay, here we go. We're going to take us out of here, and we're going to go ahead and turn it up. <laughs> Fuck I'm coming like future move, I can hear shoot to trouble, how am I gotta lose him? Medicine T Snoop Ragu for that turn. Man, it's easy. 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 Damn, I just came from Cinder Woo, man, now I'm doing the money dance Damn, the sale, got a lot of drums, that's American bandstand Damn, that's fucked up, how did they have faith? That's why I don't pop dance, we just moved to Honda We fuck up commas on commas, we fuck up commas like future Move, I can hear shoot you, throw behind me, I gotta lose em. I was in a cold ass cell, I was just living in hell No pictures, no mail, niggas killing over GTL I was in my cell, facing PBL The other niggas, yeah, they think that they betting me Ducking, dodging the probation felony I done seen a whole thing from Medellin My white boys, they geeking no care to me, I'm a fiend addicted to smoking weed. I'm the go to like Jose Canseco. Draco cutting like Christian Pacheco. Bitches love me, they do what I say so. Evicted out of poverty.
come with like future move. I can hear shoot your trouble. How am I gotta lose him? Medicine T. Snoop Ragu. Put that turn. I, I hear faintly love. I hear faintly love. I faintly Like I love it. Like and and the chorus. I have to I have to be honest. The chorus, y'all. That was banging. Who you had singing? It's all good. We're gonna get it real good. We're right. gonna get it right. How, who you had singing on there? What'd you say, love? Say love. Who did you have singing on the chorus? Uh, that's, uh, finesse, that's finesse Dern. Oh, shout out oh, to my dog Finesse, finesse, Dern. finesse Dern. He's straight out of he's St. Straight Petersburg, out of Petersburg right, right now. Right now. Um, he got some little uh, legal, legal business matters business uh, out in Washington uh, right now. He will be returning. Uh, he uh, with his arm project. He definitely in the R&B lane. I'm definitely putting him up against Trey Song, Jockeys, anybody. Cause like you know what I'm saying right now that uh, he I'm talking about he doesn't have like a music coach at all. That's just all natural raw talent. That's my dog. Y'all gonna be he gonna be up under the whiny soon. My label whiny young niggas even. Um, uh, shit. Shout out to us. Uh, shout out to um, you know, a couple people who I'm working with right now. But he definitely um, oh yeah. Shout out to Chapo Classy. Um, shout out to Tan Bands. You know what I'm saying? These are a couple artists who I'm fucking with. Shout out to uh, my little cousin M Drack. These are a couple of artists that you know what I'm saying that look up to me. You know what I'm saying? That they in artist development right now, but they definitely on the way. They definitely coming. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of love, a whole bunch of love. You know what I'm saying? I think it was just a solely clip, a lot of love pouring in, man. No, no negative shit. We all on go. We all getting money, all prospering. That's it. Getting money, all prospering. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I I know you know. People don't understand, like, there's times when we all go through the dark night of the soul and we go through the dark night of the soul quite a few times in life. And and understand, you know, you was probably going through some really dark moments at that time. Um, but you you back right now, right? Yeah, I'm definitely back right. It's yeah, like, definitely back right. It's, it's like, like, um... It's I'm like, gonna be real. I'm gonna tell you, I'm give you a little rundown. Like, like you know, I grew up in the church. Like, you know, I, I grew up with you know both sides of my family are very southern, homegrown families. You know, where both you know where both of them is a lot of love, a lot of a lot of a lot of screaming and shouting on Sundays. A lot of preparing for in the morning. You know, for you know for you know for the collard greens and the chicken. And you know, you got a grandma getting up four in the morning, having the collard greens ready so it can be right by twelve. Lost in Georgia, that backwood shit. You know what I'm saying? To where like, you know, it's like it's like you either love, it's like you either love, or 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 it ain't here. You know what I'm saying? Or don't bring none of that here. You know what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong, now. You know, we everybody got their flip side. It's about polarity. You know what I'm saying? Every every on opposite end of every pole, it's the opposite side of it. So on every positive aspect, everything it gotta be what? You know what I'm saying? So you know that's what we're doing in the third dimensional realm. We trying to share that. But uh, but um um um, what was I going? Oh, but yes, uh, definitely. Um, I come from that aspect. But you know, my dad did ten years. You know. Know what I'm saying? So the father aspect from when I was eight to 18, you don't have that. So, you know, mother, a black mother trying to raise a young black man. I mean, no matter if she has, you know, if she's alpha or if she's not, or, 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 or she's, you know, no matter what, you know, a mother's place in, in this lifetime is to nurture and the man is to provide the physical dominance, the, the you know, the, the laws of the land provide and shit like that. And I didn't really get that. So I kind of like, you know, you deter off and you come and you clean closest to the thing that, you know, mirrors your dad and, 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 and in my aspect it was like you know street niggas you know what i'm saying the niggas that had the you know the 26s and shit you know niggas that send you know niggas riding don'ts back then niggas that got you know when cubans was can't you know when the cuban wave came out the first time in the 90s when everybody had cubans you know what i'm saying Heron bones and shit like that like that you know always Look back to like you know you know the you know big homies and the dope boys is like damn they was superheroes they was able to come save the day but we on section eight couldn't you know you know just getting by but they can come save the day in an instant so you know in that aspect I was like you know that like that be a lot of you know our role models you know at that point in time of course you know you know fast forward time I start playing football I become real great in football around the St Petersburg area you know what I'm saying I you know all state I go into high uh, high school then I go do a year in college college and I blow my knee out you know when I blow my knee out my mama you know moved to Atlanta so I come back to the streets of St Pete and you know that's when you know um all my brothers are my cousins big huge Sneed from Lucy. I'm losing you again. Back. Back. 
<laughs> I know uh-huh. you said your phone is acting uh-huh. up, people. We already warned you. What do you say, love? What do you say, love? I said, I'm just letting everybody know that uh, we warned them the phone's acting up. I warned them you, the phone was acting you up. You can hear me? Hear me? Yeah. Well, yeah, I can hear you now, but it's okay, going yeah, in. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. What about now? You can hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. It just is going in and out. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Okay, 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 okay. Can we improvise? But, uh, improvise. But, uh, yeah, yeah. um. Well, that's a dope song. But basically, um, like, um, fast forward, fast forward. Um, you know, um, so you know, so you know, so that's, so that's. You there? Is Nuki still up? Nuki still up? Yes, sir. Yeah, just a delay. Yeah, yeah but fast forward, yeah, and, um, and you know, and that was just that. Uh, uh, they, um, uh, they, um. You know, so ever since then, ever since like the whole, you know, me blowing money out of school, coming back home to the streets, it's been like, you know, really just, you know, uh, you, then then that's when I start experiencing the dark moments in St. Pete. You know, just going through the wilds or any other, any other lost like young man. You know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm special or nothing like that, but any lost man that's lost, you know, God is. You know what I'm saying? I probably, you know, my darkness is probably no greater than his, or his no greater than mine. I ain't say, cause you know, every man can handle their own. You know, every man like weighs their own. You know what I'm saying? Their own burdens different. You know what I mean? So, I mean. I mean, but now, but now, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, uh, it'll take me hours to explain what I had to go through to get out of it. But, you know, um, it, it, it was a journey. But, you know, we all fall short and, and you know, yeah, in front of God, in front of the Lord. So, you know, nobody, nobody's perfect. We all, we all got, we all, you know, we born from sin. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to sin. Like, it's, you know, it's all about the fight of getting back, you know, getting back right. So, music's banging. Bro, we got another song. But you know what? I got to have you shout out your links right now. So if anybody wants to follow you, they can follow you. So go ahead and shoot them with your social media links. This hair is following me so long. I keep sitting on it. <laughs> uh, Ms. But Ms. yeah. Ms. Ms. Go ahead and shoot out your social media. You there? Ragu. Go ahead and shoot out your links, baby. Miss music, you hear me? Miss music, you hear me? Yes, sir. Go ahead and shoot out your links. Yo, Miss music. Yo, Miss music. Yes, sir. That phone is dripping. Yo, yo. I hear you. <laughs> you there? You back? <laughs> you know, you got it. You know, put himself on mute. Yo, Miss Yo, Music, what it do? What it do? What it do, baby? Go ahead and shoot out your social media links so they can follow you. Uh, look how the uh, adversary trying, trying to break something break good up, man. Oh, we vibing too, man. Too, Come man. on, the devil, you a lie. Fuck alive. the devil. Yes, sir. Go ahead and shout out your social media links so they can follow you. Amen to that. Oh, Gang, go ahead. Shoot out your social media links. Yeah, I'm sure. He's tripping, I know. Hey, anytime we, we, we trying to convert people, you know what I mean? He going to slip up and try to stop that word from getting out. But go ahead and give your social media links. Oh, he got himself on mute. <laughs> you didn't take yourself off mute, boy.
Leave that. You got to unmute yourself. <laughs> I can't unmute you. You're controlling the show. <laughs> yo, yo. There you go. <laughs> you cut off again? <coughs> okay, you're back. We're going to get to social media links after this. Tell me about the song White Boy Wasted. One second, Miss Diva. Diva. I'm, I'm about to. I'm about to try, try, try something real <laughs> quick. One second, something real quick. One okay. Do you catch it back? Yo, that's better? Yo, that's better? Yes, that's so much better. Oh, okay. shit. shit. <laughs> Go ahead and shoot out your social media links, and we're going to get into the next song called White Boy Wasted. Go ahead. I'll chop Ooh. it all out. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, my, um, yeah, well, um, so my Facebook well, is uh, Ragu Reloaded. Ragu Reloaded. It's uh, R-A-G-U. R-A-G-U. Reloaded. Uh, R E L O A D E D. And um, really, people say ragu like the sauce, but you know, I let them run with it. But ragu who really means it's like in the ink in the oldest night. Like, um, in my Instagram, my Instagram is ragu reloaded as well. Let me um, can they see the link? Should I just drop them in the link? Should I just uh? I was gonna you can drop, drop it in the chat if you like want that. to. So, uh, but yeah, it's Roger Reloaded. Roger Reloaded. Drop it in the chat. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. You know how to go to the regular chat. Go to the regular chat box up at the top. It says comments. And you can leave right, it right, right, right there. Right, It'll right, go right, right up on YouTube. Right. You heard? Type shit. Yeah, but um, yeah, in the mean, in the yes, in the meanwhile, yeah, yeah ragu yeah, underscore yeah, six god to Instagram. Instagram. Ragu, ragu underscore, underscore six, six, the number six, and god. god. Um, and six god, you know, um, a lot of people say like I heard people ask people like, oh, six god, what does that mean? Uh, well, my interpretation is different from you know, you know um, other people. I've been six god. I've been new numerology, numerology system of the universe. You know what I'm saying? What the number six really mean, and you know, like the mark of man and all that stuff. But in Hebrew, it just means so like, are you a life like, past six? A like protection and redemption of humanity. So I feel like Ragu is going detail off the alley. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people to view me different. And some people, like, if I say what I really stand on, you know, maybe that you know, may take some away from my music or what people may think of me. So we can keep that for another time between me and you. But hey, let your mind go down. Mm. Are you a six? Life past six? Um, um, not, um, not, I'm not saying my life, life past six. Life past, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes of, course. of course. Awesome. That's cool. I'm a seven. 
Oh yeah. I'm a yeah, seven, but see, yeah. see, yeah. yeah. No, so what I'm saying, no, so what I'm saying, my interpretation of six go back into ancient comedic science, meaning just protection and redemption of humanity. You know, so I so if I feel like I come to serve like humanity, like I'm the I'm the I'm the I'm a six god. And um, a lot of artists and a lot of people that have said that they weren't ready to go in detail and say that, but you know, me, I'm with it. I ain't really part of entertainment. I just I just love to do this shit, man. I just like to do this shit. It's a lot of truth in it. Well, that's, that's awesome. What's up. That's, what's up. That's, what's up. that's what I'm saying. You never know. You never know. My dad, the other day, he's funny. He's a one. And he's like, well, I got sixes in everything. I think I'm a six. And I'm like, you know, hey, buddy, if you want to be a six, you be a six. You know what I mean? That's what yeah, you feel like your number is. Yeah, I got six in everything. He's cute. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, your number could be a different number, but your number could really be six. Like, I know mine's seven, but I have a lot of sevens that pop up and a lot of fours. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how we a lot of comedic scientists and all that, who are a lot of scholars out of that one, they say it's all for like the number that pop up in your life more, yeah, but a lot of angel number pop up in mine. But as far as like my name, everything when I do the numerology on my name, my Hebrew name, my rap name, everything come back to six. Mm. Like when you add everything up, like when you match, like you know, like how A is one and all that. When you bring everything back and do the numerology, because you know everything go back to numerology. You know what I'm saying? The universe is all number by number and shit. So you know everything does come back to six. And then when I learned what six really meant, you know they, you know they'll say six, six, six is the devil and the mark of man. But you know you already know the scholars that know how to break that thing down and decode it and you know really go back into your ancient tablets and all that shit. You know like. You know, it's going to come back to something different, you know. It's always something different because I'm six was always known back in ancient times as something good. But, you know, of course, now it's, you know, the opposite. But, hey, everybody, everybody got their own mind. Future's on. Yeah, he just went really deep right there. I mean, you, 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 you talk about, you know, the 5D stuff. <laughs> so oh, yeah, know because. About all that, but, you know, that's yeah, another show. That's what, but, oh, yeah, that's yeah, another show, definitely. Because that's what I'm really on. I mean, I love music, but I mean, like, yeah, once you know, like, definitely, that's what I'm really quantum on. physics, you know, all this deep like, shit, and you know, frequency and sound, you become a master of music, you know what I'm saying? Really, like, I become a master of music. Like, like everybody like, said, I was on FaceTime, all the cousins. Um, I one time I was on FaceTime with one week's girl, his best friends with Rod. Yeah, I was, uh, my little cousin, one week's girl, shout out to him. He best friends with um Rod Wave, and one time he put me on FaceTime when I first got out of prison, and I was like rapping for like rapping and all that shit. I was rapping, said I, I rapped to watching me. They loved it. All of them. Um, all of them loved it. Um, all of them. Uh, I had another song I rapped to them. Uh, it was a couple of songs I did on Facetime, and it was like, you know, big ups. And they was like, hey man, you know what? You know, um, I think everybody gotta say yeah. Like Uncle D gotta say yeah. Everybody gotta say yeah. You know, for us to kind of like, you know, the, you know, to bring you, you know, like, like, like to bring you a part of the, you know, the entity of the journey. But you know, we, you know, it's age difference with us, and you know, like, like who had differences and shit like that. So you know, it's a lot of, I wanna say politics, but you know, people. Fuck with who they fuck with, you know, it ain't no lost love or no, like, oh, they don't fuck with me and soft story and shit. But I study frequency, I'm a master of this shit, a master of art. So I done been around some big names to, you know, for them to tell me this. I never told myself this, I just always knew how to master the frequency of music, you know what I'm saying? The BPMs of it, like how I need to sound and what pitch, why, how I need to harmonize this, and, and just really telling the truth with that shit, really poetic shit, just putting it with a with, 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 with a, with a beat. You know how them 808, you know them 808 and you I know the 808 like sound. That's the like trap sound, people anyway. So you know if I, if you rapping on something that's like that, it's gonna it's gonna trap the soul anyway. So you know music is man. We can go deep. We can go. We can, we can we can you know we can keep talking about you know the ins and out of music all night. Why certain artists are as big as they are now. You know what I'm saying? And why certain artists aren't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, you we intelligent enough to know why. Sure. Really. Yeah. Well, knowing what I know now about the 808s, people, if you're looking for an 808 drum, beat drum machine, <laughs> I got one I ain't never used before. Thank you, Jesus. But anyways, um, I bought it, didn't know, and then I found out, and I was like, oh, well, um, yeah, I guess um, mm -hmm. I won't be using that one. I mean, I mean, the 808 has made it. Anybody underneath any control I mean, now. <laughs> Right, right. That's just me. Because, you know, I I'm older, so I'm a little more advanced up there than most of the, you know, the younger generations that um, I deal with. So I was just like, you know, knowing that I know now, 
you know, and just keep away from that. <laughs> but right, um, right, I, I just right, stopped right, making right. beats, so I got tired of it, man. I got too much going on. Like I ain't got time for beats. Beats take like way too much time. But yo, okay, let's you get back to this. Beats. 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 I yeah, I used to make beats. Yes, I used to make beats, people. Mm hmm. Yep. You might have to dig right. some out the archives. You might have to dig some out the archives and let me go ahead and bless it. Right? Well, they're not all, you know, they're not all. I mean, they were good to ride on, but they were doing more or less, um, you know, I hadn't had too many transitions and stuff like that. I was, you know, just learning to make beats. And I had a few that I wrote and people thought it was hot. So, you know, I made my little mark. But um, I'd rather just, you know, be the artist and, and write the music and, that's you know <laughs> i just like to be you know into my music I, I like to be able to have more time to be an artist than to be everything else which a lot of people usually are everything the engineer you know the beat maker <laughs> the artist the promoter and we all are that yes but you know sometimes i, I just got to give music it's undivided attention so Oh yeah, but another thing I left out too, to and I don't mean to what? switch topics, um, because I did want to, and this came past because he just texted me not too long ago. Cardi is 500, AJ Cartel, some people know him as, man, shout out to him, thank you to him too for offering me to come on uh, this little uh, Florida-wide tour with Jimbo, with Jimbo World, his brother. A lot of people don't know that, man, they brothers, man, I'm saying it, they probably don't want people to know what fuck it, I blue cover, man, they brothers, they real brothers, same mama, man, we have same mama everything, man. When they stayed out there on the north side, same Pete town, man, we all done spent the night, man, I seen them boys, and we'd all have been a Ninja Turtle Bros, man, that's real. Oh, man, let's give it a stack. Yeah, yeah, we bad. Yeah, we bad. You making me think? Oh, you making me steal all the beans? I'm gonna get cussed out. I'm gonna get cussed out. It's okay. We don't get many new views over here on YouTube, so I think you're okay. But um, I don't know about them YouTube shorts though. We gonna get that old. We gonna get that old. Get that old. It, it's it's all good. I stream other places like you know Amazon TV and uh, Apple TV is coming up real soon, people. I am gonna be on the network, so y'all definitely need to pay attention, cause you know I just use the YouTube for you know just YouTube to have it locked in. Um, you know we play on the ninety one point three the plug, so y'all can check out that. You can go to ninety one point three dot com, and um, check out the show on there. I am up there, and like I said, we're going to be getting a network on all um, the major networks, so that's definitely going to be great. HHQ TV, too. Yeah, make sure you download the app, and uh, you can get the uh, DNM Music Video Showcase. But, honey, I'm dying to get to White Boy Wasted. Tell me about White, Wa White Boy Wasted so we can get into that song. Yo, White Boy Wasted, Yo, White Boy um, Wasted um, yes. um, um, um. Mm -hmm. Shit, like really, um, I'm really not a big, I'm really not a big, big, big drinker, but when I do, I drink off like, from pain, depression, and one day I woke up and, you know, this a lot, you know, I had went out to Arizona chasing my dream, King Rajay, he a big artist out of Cali and, um, Arizona, he really like the biggest oh, artist in like Phoenix right now. I was standing out there in a $1.2 million uh, mansion with brother invited me out there. Then to kind of like do some dream like chasing shit. We all link up and do some link up and do some work. work, out there. work out there. Um, um, and um, he and, um, drinking and, like, you know, he drinking to, you know, celebration. I'm drinking to like, man, damn, I'm ready to, you know, I'm out of prison and I'm out here taking chances. I'm out here doing this. I'm way. My, my thousands of miles away from home and you know things ain't really working how it's supposed to work i'm chasing a dream and i don't really see the light but i'm still pushing through so i just was getting drunk as shit something that was like out of the ordinary something that i don't really do like drink in the morning drink in the daytime drinking so i was just getting wasted and i was just getting i was getting fucked up and then um that was of course that was suppress the pain and you know uh things became um you know more of a um more of a blur but it you know more of a blur, but it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. Everything was fun, and that's how White Boy Wasted became because I made the song out there drunk as fuck. Um, uh, to that beat, yeah, to that beat. And shout out to T Flame, it's a dude I be working with from Israel. He literally from Israel, uh, named T Flame, um, on the production and shit like that. Shout out to him, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's how that came along. 
and of course, like the two verses, of course, that you know, I tied with uh, tied that in with you know, Gucci, uh, uh Gucci man. Of course, I got the um, you're not gonna come out to me for that because it's like the first, like on the hook, the first verse is uh. Uh, um, rock star lifestyle, Mike, don't make it. I woke up this morning, 10 o'clock, drink, and then everything else after that was, you know, of course, all my lose, but I just did that to kind of give him the up. So, you know, just give him the, like a, you know, like a salute, like, you know, like a big homie, like, damn, boy, I see you. And then, you know, his song, him making that over 10 years ago, still being so relevant in, you know, the music, what's going on today. So, you know, that's how that, you know, that's how that came, that's how that came about. True that. Well, everybody, we're going to get into this white boy wasted. So, yeah, turn it up because it's about to go down on 91.3 The Plug and HHQ TV 2, The Music Shop with Miss Music. That's right. Whiny shit. Whiny shit. We did it. Ship misses Zaza. Bad white bitch on the side playing with her tatas. Spanish bitch behind me. She the shit. She the caca. Nobody was fucking with him when he was flipping burger like five guys. Now I ain't got more gas, boy. Blue gas like lifestyle. My don't make it. I woke up this morning, 10 o'clock drinking. Phone going dumb, man. My phone can't stop swinging. All this pain, I just wanna get wasted. Yeah. Ship misses Zaza. Bad white bitch on the side playing with her tatas. Spanish bitch behind me, she the shit, she the caca. Nobody was fucking with him when he was flipping burger like five guy. Now he got more gas, boy, he boom gas like wah wah. And he might just make it. I woke up this morning, 10 o'clock drinking. My phone can't stop swinging. Now I'm getting white boy wasted. Rock star lifestyle, my don't make it. I woke up this morning, 10 o'clock drink. My phone going dumb, yeah. man. My phone can't stop swinging. Look, All yeah. this pain, hey. I just wanna yeah. get wasted. I'm in the field trying to go get some, spend thousand dollars on sneakers. Got a bad bitch, call a Seminole, cause all she do is she. For them lame niggas who switch sides, nigga, we ain't even gotta speak. Got my own table, got my own shelf, got my own food, I'ma eat. My young bitch got true beauty and I'm gonna be her beast. My young niggas getting lows and them bows going for cheap. Just tried to bag at Saks Fifth, and even markets don't owe me nothing. I'm in the end zone like cold pepper, get my roll on and I'm stunning. Got a bitch I call cash money, cause she slim and I call her baby. My white boys at a college party, they hanging out and they waste. Got four chicks on the south side running this shit that's vacant. Better pray to God to the most high, don't move wrong without thinking. Raw star lifestyle, my don't make it. I woke up this morning, 10 o'clock drink. Phone going dumb, man, my phone can't stop swinging. All this pain, I just wanna get wasted. Ship Mr. Zaza, bad white bitch on the side playing with a top tops. Spanish bitch behind me, she the shit, she the caca. Nobody was fucking with her, he was flipping bro like five guys. Now I ain't got more gas, boy, boom, gas like wah wah. Hallelujah, amen. I'm like, thank God, them packs came in, and when they touch down, it's time to get the word. After this flip, I might cop a burn, round round in that Benz thing, and that CLA 250. Them niggas hated on me, cause they thought it was Rennie. I'm geeked up with a bad bitch that kinda look like Rennie. Got fucked up in Arizona, they try to ruin my image. Like, where was you when I was up the road, when I did the time in prison? All the different women, they crossed the world, now they all in my mentions. I used to dirt in my stripe, but it started hurting my kidneys. Round round with them side packs and I gotta keep my blicky. Can't trust nobody, run a marathon to them play like I'm Nipsey. I'm getting money, they wish that I'm a fitter like I'm 50. Nigga say he getting money, but he ain't even count 50. My grandma live in Chow Bar, but I grew up in a 50. Yeah, shit, We might just make it. I woke up this morning, 10 o'clock drinking. Ah, my phone can't stop swinging. Ah, we getting white boy wasted. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. 91.3 The Plug and HHQ TV2, the music shop, Miss Music. Oh boy, 91.3 The Plug, we got Ragus has got on the line. You there, King? I'm going to take you off mute because I don't know if you can. There you go. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm still here. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, where is he at? Oh my gosh, I love it. Like, it is so different. Like, um, most people when they see the title, they think, okay, I wonder what this is gonna be like. And then you hear it, and I'm just like blown away. I love the song. I love you know what you did with it. I love how you spit. Like I love everything about the track. Like I, I it's dope. You know what I mean? It's so dope. And you got really good music. So I'm definitely I like, oh yes, yeah, sir. I'm a fan. Yeah, I appreciate that. I got a lot more. I got a lot more coming. It's like every song I build, it's like each one I get like more and more impressions. So it's like, damn, as far as like, um, I was thinking about, you know, I was, you know, me, I was so like antsy to drop everything, but I had got some advice from somebody. It was like, man, listen, this is a man with the type of music you could not, man, just please and have everything right with ASCAP, have everything right with, you know, with, um, you know, with your tune core, just, just have everything correct. Don't be all over the place. Oh, yeah, I want to get that. Like, a point to a lot of artists, man. Just you know, take your. I ain't saying take your time and like, you know waste out on life, but as far as getting you know your music monetized and everything legit and everything, just you know you know done the right way. It's better to get it done in the beginning than like you know down the road trying to scramble and get it you know getting it together and stuff like that. So uh, that's why. Uh, but but soon though, within these next thirty days, man, a lot of new videos. Uh, I got a video shoot that I'm doing with um one of Psycho, well, Psycho Bob and Kodak Black. They um videographer rg rg shop me might know rg from over across the bridge he well he really from st louis but he over there in tampa he's been working with a lot of, a lot of different artists he's got um some of the biggest artists he's been shot with uh psycho bob and kodak so uh, i'm looking forward to working with him with the watching me video he's gonna shoot the watching me video and um uh this new song that i'm um supposed to be dropping on itunes and all social media platforms um next month called racks and the draco um that's a real big song um that you know that'll be um with all your core djs in the tampa bay area they'll be in their show so i mean they, they'll definitely be in their files um I'm probably already in their files i was speaking right now I did a big email blast so um yeah we're gonna go from there that's dope that's dope yeah i've i've, I've done a lot of um promoting for saint pete i know a lot of artists from even back in the days way back in the days <laughs> like i'd say um back around 2000 2008 2009 2010 um a lot of the artists out there even um down to like uh uh, Dirty Game and, and um, I believe he's from St. Pete. And then, um, what's his name? Cristal. So, and then I had some boys. Oh, yeah, Cristal. Cristal, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had some boys over in St. Pete um, that had a club and stuff like that. And I used to do stuff with them and promotions for their clubs and stuff like that to get people in. Let them know, you know, where the party's at and where they can, you know, get the get the good music on and stuff like that. So, I love right, St. Pete. Right, I love right. all y'all out there. I mean, you know, we neighbors, you feel me? <laughs> I already got the British people. So, yeah, I, I'm, I support all St. Pete artists. And I, I'm not just, you know, one of these Tampa people. Like, I'm old school. So, St. Pete's always been neighbors to us, especially Tampa, especially yeah. being so close right, to, right, you know, right, right. just being over the bridge. Like, that ain't nothing but a hop, skip, and a jump, bro. You know? <laughs> so, it's like, yeah. I have to support artists, you know, and I support um, any artist anywhere. So, if y'all... Are looking to get your interview on the music shop with Miss Music? Just hit me up. You know, all genres, you know, God, y'all just hit me up and now like, we'll hook it up like Ragu the Six God. He got his stuff, you know, up here. But go ahead and definitely, shoot out your um, social media again so that they can find you just in case, you know, they join in and they're like, okay, let me stop. Yeah, um, yeah, um, my IG, my yeah, you can hit me on my IG, Ragu, R A G U underscore the number six, God. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, screen name Ragu Reloaded. If uh, if y'all missed that, Facebook, you know, um, it ain't really too much on there. But for the people that still on that, man, that's Ragu Reloaded. Um, um, and, you know, of course, everything is uh, Ragu Six, God, YouTube, everything. Ragu. 
Fat Guru Six got um iTunes. You can uh, I got watching me up there on iTunes, uh, Spotify, all the audio DJs, basically all your social media platforms. So right now, I apologize. So I could wait as far as you know with it, just the one single because I got my I got my Louisiana brother uh, who I did time with. Man, he uh, he got watching me out there in the clubs and out there in uh, like uh uh uh, uh Shreve uh, Shreveport, I want to say uh, like Lafayette, and uh, they showing me love and. Uh, but the thing he just said, nah, he like, okay, bro, next, okay, I'm tired. Like, he was, he made a joke the other day. He like, all right, bro, next, I'm tired of hearing that, man. That song stuck in my head, dog, drop that shit. So I'm just like, okay, coming soon, because you know, real life, you know, you know, life be life, and then, you know, through, uh, you know, through the wild and me trying to, you know, still, like, you know, stand tall and, you know, in the, yeah, and, you know, and, you know, on, in, in the uh, what we would say the legal aspect, where uh, you know, just um, you know, handling the day to day duties and basis of being a man, um, but you know, that still take place. But you gotta have a balance. You know what I'm saying? I'm still chasing that dream. Still chasing the dream of uh, you know, with abandonment. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of shit coming soon. Like as far as like within these next thirty days, a lot of different videos, a lot of different um, um, um. A lot of different content, um, just uh, like like a lot of content being like dropped content within these next thirty days. So I would stay tuned. Um, yeah, definitely. That's right, everybody. I'll stay tuned in to Ragu Six God. He's got things going on, music's jumping. Can't wait to hear the new stuff, y'all. Make sure you hit up his links. Make sure you show him some love. Make sure you listen to his music. And make sure you follow him, you know what I'm saying? Like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Do all those fun things that, you know, you should be doing also on the music shop. Well, that's me, but <laughs> that's right. Well, you know, Ragu, it, it's, it's Saturday night, and I know you got things to do, and I got things to do, and, you know, time is money. That's real. Yeah. Definitely so able to take place. Uh, time is money, but time is money. But it was definitely a blessing. Uh, at a five deal with you. Um, with you. Right, 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 right. right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, King. I appreciate you coming on tonight. I appreciate everybody out there who's gonna be um watching the show. Make sure you leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time on the Music Shop with Miss Music. I'm sorry, y'all. We're going to end this show, though, because like you said, we got things to do and time is money. But thank you for coming on, Ragu, Six God. I appreciate you. And we'll definitely be bringing you back on to um, the Music Shop with Miss Music because we got to catch up with you with those new, you know, new tracks and the new music, right? That's right. That's right. Definitely, definitely a lot of a lot of love coming from this way. So that's right, everybody. So until next time, we'll see you on the music shop with Miss Music on ninety one point three the plug. And I hope everybody has a great night, safe night, and uh, God bless you all. That's right. All right, love Miss Music. I appreciate. Oh, you too. Appreciate you too, King. Good night, everybody. Thank you.